Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching CSS tutorial series. In this video, we are going to learn about the opacity property. So let's get started. All right, so I have opened brackets and now inside the project folder, I'll go ahead and create a new file and I'll save this as opacity.html. And I'll write the following HTML code. So we have the doc type HTML, opening and closing HTML tag, opening and closing head tag, and we have set the title for this page to opacity. Now inside this CSS folder, we'll go ahead and create a new file and we'll save this as opacity.css. And now inside the HTML file, we'll include this opacity.css file. So we'll write link and we'll set rel to stylesheet href to css slash opacity.css and now we'll open this file in live preview opacity property we use the opacity property to set the opacity of an element and it can take value from 0 to 1 so values 0 to 1 where 1 is equal to 100% opacity that is completely opaque and 0 is equal to 0% opacity or completely transparent and if we have a value like let's say 0 0.5 then it means 50% opacity now let's say we have a div inside our HTML file div and let's say it has an ID sample dash div 1 and let's say inside the div we have a paragraph and the content is hello world so to target this div having id sample dash div1 inside our css file we'll write hash sample dash div1 now let's say this div has a padding of 15 pixels and let's say the background color is let's say green and color is let's say white so we have this div having id sample dash div1 and we have given this div a padding of 15 pixels and we have set the background color to green and we have set the color property to white now if we want to set the opacity of this div then we have to set the opacity property. So opacity. By default, the value is one, which is 100% opacity. And let's say we want to make this div completely transparent, that is 0% opacity, then we'll set the opacity property to zero. And now if you look at the output, you will see that the div is gone. It is there but it is transparent. And let's say if we want 50% opacity, then we'll set the opacity value to 0 0.5. And now this div is 50% transparent. We can also set the opacity by using RGBA value for the background color. So let's say inside our HTML file, let's say we have another div and this div has an ID sample dash div 2 and inside this div let's say we have a paragraph happy so to target this div inside our css file we'll write sample dash div 2 and let's say this div has a padding of 15 pixels let me give a line break between the two And let's say the background color 
for this div is black and let's say the color is white so we have this div and we have set the padding to 15 pixels background color to black and color to white now we can also set the background color using RGBA value so let me come in this and to get black color we have to set the R G and B value to 0 so RGBA red 0 green 0 blue 0 and let's say we want a 1 that is opacity 100% so this div is now having an opacity of 100% and if you want an opacity of 0% then we'll set the a value to 0 and if you want 50% then we'll set the value to 0 0.5 so now this div having id sample dash div 2 is having an opacity of 50 percent now if you want to set opacity and you want to make it compatible with older internet explorer browsers like ie6 or ie8 then you have to use filter property so this is for older browsers like i8 or i6 so we have to use filter property and we have to set alpha opacity equal to x where x is equal to 0 to 100 where 0 is equal to 0% opacity that is completely transparent and 100 is equal to 100% opacity that is completely opaque so let's say inside our HTML file we have another div having id sample dash div 3 and let's inside this div we have a paragraph and the content is high so to target this div we have to write hash sample dash div 3 and let's say it has a padding of 15 pixels let's say background color is let's say blue and let's say color is white and now if you want to give this div having id sample dash div 3 an opacity of let's say 50 percent so we'll set opacity to 0 0.5 and to make it compatible with older browser like internet explorer 8 or 6 then we have to write filter alpha and we have to set opacity equal to 50 and now this div will have opacity of 50 percent in older browsers as well all right guys this brings us to the end of this tutorial i'll post the tutorial notes on my website tyclassroom.com and all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I'll put them in my GitHub repository. You will find all the links in the video description, so please check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please give this video a like and please subscribe my channel. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.